Hey everyone, I'm Lauren and this is Light and Lavender where we talk about books and my own writing journey and today I've got a little bit of an exciting announcement for you. So if you've not already guessed by the thumbnail and also the title of this video, myself, Kat from Cat's Book Corner and Z from You Can't Catch Z are hosting a five month read along to read the Belgarian series by David Eddings. This is a five book series written in the early 80s I believe the first one, Porn of Prophecy, was written um, and this follows the story of a young boy called Garion and his farm boy prophecy to sort of save the world kind of thing. I first read this when I was a late, well I, originally I tried to read this as a child and I read the first chapter, went to an aquarium, put it down and never read it again for about 10 years. Eventually I did read it and I really enjoyed it. I think, I, I don't know if it will hold up to my original reading. I really enjoyed some of the spin-offs. I love the second series for this, but we are reading one book a month for the next five months. So in March, we are reading Porn of Prophecy. In April, we are reading Queen of Sorcery. In May, we are reading Magician's Gambit. In June, we are reading Castle of Wizardry. And in July, we are finishing off the series of Enchanter's Endgame. I am so looking forward to reading this series again. I've not read it for so long. And yeah, like I said before, I am intrigued to see if this holds up to my sort of nostalgic recollections of this as these were sort of like some of the big series that I first got into as a mid to late teen. I say I'm probably more mid than late teens. So pretty sure I read these before I was 16. I really loved this book to the point that I attempted to write fan fiction of it where I could go into the book and interact with the characters. Take that as you will. <laughs> this was before I read The Air Affair by Jasper Ford so if you like the idea of being able to go into a book I really recommend that because that is pretty much the premise of that entire series. I still need to finish it, another series on my list of series to finish. But this book is one that I have loved. I think it's a really good sort of like early, easy sort of beginner's fantasy book to get into. Kat has read this book before but Z is a complete novice so we're all reading this together. You are more than welcome to join in with us. We're going to be hosting a live show at the end of every month to go over what we thought of each book, where we think it's going to go next, well in Z's case where it's going to go next and what me and Kat are remembering from it I'm assuming. So we'll leave links to the live shows and everything like that. I'll leave links to Kat and Z's announcement videos as well so you can go and check those out and see what they've got to say about this series. But this is just my quick introduction into the world of David Eddings. I can't say what the world is called because it's pretty much only called the world in here. There is definitely, I think it's a, a lord? I can't even remember any of the countries apart from Astoria because I thought it was a made up place and then found out that it's actually also a region in Spain. So you know, why not take inspiration from real life? If you've ever read this series before, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you have read it and you want to do a reread, feel free to join me, Kat and Z, on this five month adventure <laughs> because it's gonna be an adventure. We have to try and save the world from Torak. Tolok? I can't remember his name. It's going well. This is how much I remember from my original read through of this book. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like. And if you want to see more of my videos, don't forget to hit subscribe. There's a new one out every single week. I hope you're well and you all stay safe. And until next time, bye!